So the trailer, come out, come out wherever you are. Uh, what a great way to sort of kick us into the second half of The Flash. How excited are you guys for people to see you two together on screen and, you know, this episode air, finally. <laughs> uh, for me, it's just exciting working with Wentworth again. Um, that was my initial uh, motivation to do the show. Um, getting on set was a revelation. Um, I'm enjoying myself. Uh, wearing big, broad costumes, being as cheesy and as huge as you can possibly be. Um, it's, it's, yeah, it's exciting. Yeah, and you helped get him the job, I know this. Tell us that story, because yeah, it's, yeah. it's a nice one. I was on set for my first episode. I was talking to Jeff Johns, who helped create the show, and he said, you know, we're trying to cast this character, Heat Wave. He's like a hothead, um, edgy, aggressive, unpredictable, kind of cool. Do you have any actors you could recommend? And Dominic Purcell was the only name that, that, that came to mind. And I was 90% serious, 10% joking, because I never thought they would actually make it happen. Yeah. Um, but here we are. And then uh, when they contacted you, did they mention this? Yeah, they, they okay. mentioned, no, Wentworth got in touch with me and said, would I be interested in coming on the show? Right. I said, absolutely, just, just to work with Wentworth. I mean, and... Uh, I'm not, you know, denouncing the Flash at all. I think it's it's doing an amazing job, and it's it's a it's a great but show. This is your buddy. This is my buddy. This is my yeah. friend. So it was again. It was just a chance to hang out with Wentworth. Do you remember the last uh, the last scene you guys shot on Prison Break together? I mean, mm. is that still sort of in your mind? Um, no. I know as we get older, we forget things. So. I, I think it was when I think it was I think the th when you I can remember mine. It was um, the video recording that I left right, for yeah. Lincoln and Sarah to watch after what happened to me happened to me. Mm. Um, it was my kind of tearful goodbye without giving too much away. Yes. Um, so when I found out that Dom was going to do the show, I thought, how kind of rare and radical, because I, I can't think of too many other examples where you've got two characters who are so closely attached to one show appearing on another show playing different characters. Mm -hmm. It's really unusual, yeah. unique. So did you get a fly up together, you know, talk on the plane or anything like that? Well, I mean, how did yeah, we know? sat together and just ate M&Ms the whole way. From, did you actually get a fly up together? <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. That's uh, awesome. I eat the M&M's. He, he, he eats the M&M's, I eat the broccoli. <laughs> I didn't know that they gave out M&M's on planes. Anymore. No, he doesn't. He has a whole suitcase. I come prepared. Really? Yeah. He really he really does. Uh, is there a particular flavor that you prefer? Over uh, the, they have so many now. Peanut, but almond in a pinch. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. That peanut butter one's good too, though. True. I, I go for the peanut butter cups, though. Like, if you're going to do it, do it right. Do it right. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's true. It's true. And the seasonal treats, like the trees, the pumpkins, the, trees are my <laughs> the hearts. <laughs> Those are the best. Stock up at Target. Yeah. Uh, I know what to get you next time I see you. <laughs> totally, you yeah. Um, okay, so. You, like, That's in his quote. <laughs> That's, yeah. It's part it's in of my writer. <laughs> it's, in, it's in his contract. A truckload of M and M's, peanut M and M's, and a trainer. Open his <laughs> 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 a treadmill. <laughs> Okay, Wentworth, you said your character isn't a complete villain, but is he mm. a villain? Is, is, he, is he truly a villain? Yes, he okay. is. Um, you know, I was told by the powers to be to say that he is a uh, raging... <laughs> to say that. To say that, he's a, <laughs> to, say, to say that he's a raging flame behind a door ready to break out. And I think that was silly. I think, I think what Heatwave is is actually he's a charismatic, funny psychopath. Likeable. Likeable. You know, he's, he, he's, he's likeable. He's funny. I mean, his actions are just hysterical. I mean, he's out of control. Okay, if he, if, if he was here and uh, didn't have, you know, malicious intentions towards you guys, mm. would you, you know, go get a, I don't know, share some peanut butter M&Ms at the bar? In Probably not. Okay. There's a bit of an animosity between yeah. the, the two guys. Yeah. Okay. okay. But he's the boss. Yeah. As, as is always the case when we work together. He's in charge. Yeah. Prison uh, Break, he was in charge. Right. I mean, he's the brains, I'm the muscle. That's he, why we work so well. He together. drives. I drive. Yeah. Last you can't drive. You can't drive? I can drive. Oh, you can barely. drive. Barely. I was going to say, we're in California here. Everyone has to drive. He can, bar he can barely drive. It's mandatory unless you can yeah. just fly or something. You've got wings that sprout yeah. out. So. Yeah. Um, last time we saw Leonard, you know, he was sort of defeated, mm. but he, he's got some really smart observations about the Flash. Yeah. So how, how is he sort of planning his next move? Who's Leonard? Knowing. That's my first name. Oh, Leonard Leonard Snart. Snart. oh yeah. yes, of course. Mm. Knowing, that, uh, knowing, knowing that the Flash is out there. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I just got by Snart. <laughs> <laughs> right. But soon there will be two snarks. That's all you need to know. Yeah. Really? Yeah, Peyton List. Oh, yeah, Peyton. Yeah, 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 yeah. My sister, yeah. I'm sorry, what was the question? It, just, just 
to, he knows the flash is out there. Yeah. He wants to commit crimes. Yeah. How's he sort of planning for his next attack? I think that he recognizes that um, the Flash has a couple of weaknesses. One is that he cares about people, and the Flash has a heart, and that can potentially trip him up. And I think he also recognizes that the Flash is wearing a mask. He's got identity issues. You know, there's <laughs> there's an alter ego thing going on. There's a secret that the Flash has to keep. Therefore, he's potentially vulnerable. And then, how do you two hook up on the show? Uh, I enlist him. We were partners in crime way back when. Something went down that wasn't particularly positive. Mm -hmm. But I say, look, uh, the game's changed. There are all these guys running around with superpowers. Um, we need to band together if we're going to like keep our stake in this city. What, do you, what did you think when you saw each other in costume? Well, uh, we laughed. <laughs> Why? Because they're ridiculous. But it's, but it's, but it's, and it's part of the deal. I mean, you know, I mean. The, some of the, we did this promo yesterday, and some of the boys in the other shows, what they're wearing is hysterical. Mm. And we did this scene to promote it, and there were five grown men mm -hmm. in bat suits and capes, and you know, <laughs> it was so funny. Maybe not bat you suits. Guys show up in <laughs> <laughs> One of the dudes looked like Batman. He had the whole suit thing. Um, no, it look. It, the, the Flash is is. Um, I'm very impressed with the production values. I'm very impressed with the cast. Mm. Um, I think they're wonderful. I think Grant's an amazing um, kid, an amazing actor. Um, um, you know, and uh, it's it's funny because my kids, my own children, they're like, Dad, this is the coolest thing you've ever done. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of like, well, thanks. thanks. I was actually going to ask you guys, are there young people in your lives that have been like, oh, you're so much cooler now because you're doing mm -hmm. a, a comic? With, with Prison Break, we had that... We had that audience, mm -hmm. and uh, the thing They're about a little older now. a little older. Yeah. But the thing about Prison Break is that because it's on Netflix, we have new new fans coming on board, Good point. right? Good point. Yeah. So it never it's never ending. But now now we we have we're touching into the. These the, the fanboys the, the the you know the fifteen year olds and and you know and it's it's good for us it's yeah. it's it's a nice change up. Who had the bigger trailer on set? Me. Okay. How come? Was <laughs> it in your writer? I'm more famous. I guess you're I'm willing to accommodate. And your requests were only Reese's peanut butter. Exactly. Trees.